to her mother. Thank you. Rabbi, how are you? So nice to see you again. I want you to meet Mr. Maloney. Mr. Maloney is the U.S. attorney, the federal attorney for this whole district. He has an assistant, a chief assistant in civil rights, Miss Gay. And I want you to know that uh, they are very, very mindful of the problems of the violations of the unlawful conduct and they are going to do everything under the law that they can to see that everyone's rights are protected people have a right to know that they're going to be protected i know i spoke to the president's office about this i called and gave them our concern i spoke to the civil rights Mr. Dunn in Washington, who was the Assistant Attorney General in charge of civil rights, and I've been in constant contact with Mr. Maloney to see to it that the federal government will be using all of its authority and power to monitor the situation and to see to it that people's rights are protected. And we are very serious and conscious about that, and that's why Mr. Maloney came today to let you know how important we think this is. God Almighty bless you and all your co-workers to the president himself to be very successful in all your endeavors and in all your activities for the benefit of all the people in the United States in general and in New York specifically. And do so in good health and much success and to go from strength to strength Till the, the situation will change so there will be no need for special protection. That we to be all in a quiet manner, in a happy manner, and that we are approaching the Jewish year to be a good year, a good time for all the people of the United States and New York especially. Mm -hmm. You know that our matter that has the connection is the love. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Did you hear that, Andrew? Yes. The motto is a connection with love, the rabbi said. Yeah. <laughs> God must bless you to do all these things with inner love and need to certainly all the population of the United of New York will answer you with their feeling of real love for everyone with the management of all this state and all this city, and the, and the neighborhood especially. Well, thank you, Rabbi. Yes. We hope that this year will be a, a year of blessing and strength uh, mm -hmm. for all of our people, that, that, that the, the good things that we can build on, and particularly here in New York, where we've had uh, more trouble than the people should have to endure. And uh, I want you to know that we're serious. This is not just one visit. We come specifically because it will be the new year and because the situation has been a, a dangerous one. And we want people to know that we're committed to the rule of law because the law must be upheld. And politics has got to be put aside. There is no room for politics when it comes to protecting the rights of our people. I think that is the most important thing. People have a right to be protected and fear that, and, and know that the law is going to be enforced. God Almighty bless you that to be even more successful than you are expecting. And it's a special blessing from the God will be that there will be no, no more need for special protection measures because it will be a quiet life and a happy life and a happy year. In accordance with the approaches, Jewish New Year is also a year of blessings for all the population of New York and the, and the city of New York and the state of New York and all the United States and all the United Nations of all the world. And to that we say Amen. That's what you to charity. Oh. Yeah. That's how you say amen to your charity. God Almighty so bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's it for your help to your co-workers and to your good things. It's also helping you.